Some of you have been having a few problems with your responsiveness on your websites, um, even using Bootstrap Studio. Using this tool is, is only a tool. There are certain things that um, CSS will, will trumpet. So for example, what I've done is I've got an image here on the right hand side. Okay, so I'll put a div in. All right, I think that's gone in. And I'll just put this this image in here. Okay, so that goes nowhere. Uh, try that again. All right. Okay. So this is the um, default uh, thing. So if you put that in, say for example, there, uh, and what have you, that's that doesn't look very good at all. So what I'm going to try and say is. Um, something called position absolute and something versus something called position relative. They're both very important in their own ways, but this is how they are different. So, for example, if you've got, um, I'll just put this image, create the style. So, you've got an image here, okay. <clears throat> if you say something like position absolute, okay, position absolute and if you learn these things it's not difficult to learn position should work okay right position absolute and if you said something like um, left uh, say 20% okay all right um, I'll say 30 percent this sort of make it a better demo okay as you can see on the the preview it's starting to move um, in different ways okay there it's not too bad tablet it's not too bad but when it gets to phone that is where you're going to have your problems okay so just preview this on the browser <clears throat> then um, so here we are so this should be moved over to the left more well, by using position absolute that's stopping it from going over because that's where it is that's still it doesn't matter where it is on the page that's still 30 percent did i say uh, yes 30 percent so if i said something like f close this um 40 i'll say 50 percent okay <coughs> So now you're going to get this. So this would be fine. And it's still over to the right, even on a desktop, but you can still say it's okay ish. This is tablet about, about that anyway. And then when you go over to mobile phone, that's, that's getting that. And you're actually getting a scroll bar at the bottom of that. <coughs> so that's absolutely no good at all. Because one, you're not seeing the picture two, it's in the same place, but all the way along, it's 50 percent that's what it's saying so it's accurate but it's just not what you need so what you got to do there is if you put in um something like position relative okay and the differences here are, are quite you know varied in that you know so take this left out and what you're doing say for example you want it in the middle of everywhere you need just try and get rid of this left okay right so say for example margin left okay and this is why i use margins quite often as you might have noticed if you watch these videos okay uh, margin left auto margin right auto so as you're saying this auto okay now we're going to put something to call display block. Right. So <coughs> the display block there is very important. So if you took that out, okay, as you can see in the preview, it's going over to the left side. All right. So there, it's a bit like position absolute, but you put that in there with a display block than that center so if you look at it in the browser okay that changes there so you go all along there so it's it's always center 
and it's center and mobile and that's what you need so it's tablet mobile all across the thing and that's um all across the browser and that's where you need it so there's there is difference bec between all that so position absolute has a lot of good things so for example if you if you're not you know say for example you're designing a game or something like that a game you want say the controls in um you know you want the controls in a, posi a, a certain position then you need absolute so in in certain areas position absolute is a definitive thing that really works well just in for when you're trying to do responsive web design sometimes position relative is better sometimes it's not but in these mostly it, it will be um, other things as well when you're using the position relative you can use left but you know left like i did with the 50 percent and 30 percent also another one you can use is top and this is in pixels so for example you want a top 200 pixels from the top this would work it works in both position relative and absolute so there you go that's what would happen there and that would go right across the the browser see but there because it's position relative that makes all the difference in in the way it's styled and that so that's one one good way of doing it if you use position absolute position absolute can trump anything that a responsive web design tool is doing bootstrap studio studio or bootstrap itself or foundation anything like that so probably best to practice them things they're quite easy to use position relative just move in and zoom in so you can actually see that Oops, the zoom's not working is it f10 on here i think um i've changed the the video thing around uh it's not working so sorry about that um yeah, i'll have to do that for uh, I, I thought it would be uh either f10 or, or f8 and it's neither of them so anyway um yeah so if you if you use position and like practice that your css and your, your responsive web design will come on uh leaps and bounds really another thing that uh is noted as well is if i just take this top out so okay is something called um there's been one or two uh, email you know some of you have emailed and have this problem about um you know minimum and maximum width especially the width uh, not so much the height so for example if you're doing you know minimum width and you say 800 pixels okay so now you've got this picture of 800 pixels and it looks like <coughs> this okay so this is like specific it's 800 it's max it's minimum at 800 so it doesn't know the browser doesn't know that you want it less than that so this is causing conflict see when you when you do this now you start to get the scroll bars both up and down you see and that's not responsive and the and the i uh, the reason why you're doing that you think that if you're using bootstrap, bootstrap studio that everything is going to be you know it's all going to be responsive it's not going to be responsive if you put in things like minimum width because that is that's a style that can trump anything in responsive design so what you've got to do really there is you know you can say minimum width for um you know on by the phone and so i would say 300 pixels about minimum width by today's mobiles isn't it about that <clears throat> 300 320 so there you, you got down there and if then you said you know say maximum width all right and you said 600 for that pixels okay let um, me just try this out i can't remember how how big i've uh, actually done the photos so it's maybe not a good example of that but if you know what i mean it's like if you that isn't going to change it's not going to go over that maximum width see if it's a, it, see if it's a bigger image which i don't think it is i think this is a small one but if it's a bigger image that'll not go further than the maximum width of 600 pixels so it will be between minimum and the maximum um but the what you, 
what a few of you have done when I've looked at the website, um, what you've shown, is that you've put minimum width, say two, two one was over 900 pixels. Well, that's not going to be responsive because that's, that, uh, that's minimum width. The browser doesn't know any difference. So you've got to like sort of forget the minimum width um, and just make sure that, you know, the, the minimum width could be 300 pixels because that is where mobile is, is, uh, is designed at really. So I thought I'd give you a few tips on that. Um, it is important. It's easy to learn these position absolutes and relatives and, you know, experience uh, margin left autos and margin right and display it block. There's display it none, display in line and display it block. The in line as well for things like menus and that. And obviously display none means that's not displaying. So anyway, again, thanks for watching and thanks for listening.